I'm going to combine resin art with this pebble and it's going to blow your mind with just this and of course the pebble right we are back can i turn a pebble into a piece of resin art now this one is inspired by a video i saw on a different channel of a guy who works with glass what he does is he takes the stone or pebble and he uses is it dichroic glass and layers the glass in such a way that it creates such a stunning piece of work. I'm going to try and recreate that with this pe pebble and just some vinyl that I've got. What I think I need to do first is try and get this flat um, for the vinyl to go onto. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. I think I might have to use a piece of film or a silicon mold over fresh resin and then cure that to create a flat surface. Um, bah, 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 bah. So I've got as far as thinking about how I'm going to build the resin up also. Now you've seen me make lenses before on my channel where I've used my cabochon mold to basically create a lens. I'm not sure if it's going to work with this. I don't know whether to try that or just to try and build it up gradually from the back to the front. I think I might go with the lens option. Let me think. I think to begin with, I think I quite like the texture that it's got. If I bring that flat, I'm going to lose some of that. I want to try and keep it a little bit. I don't know I'm completely winging this idea. I've just mixed up some black mica powder with some UV resin. And I'm going to begin by just coating the whole flat side of that stone. But trying to keep some of the raised areas. It's not really going to work the way that I wanted it to. I'm just going to cure that now. Just to stop it running over the sides. Now what I'm going to do is make a lens. <laughs> just to see if it could work. If it doesn't, I can always use the lens for something else. So I'm just filling this up and then giving it a cure. I'm not going to take it all the way to the top either. Because I think the size of this is slightly bigger than that so I'm hoping that I can make it a little bit smaller by doing it this way and if it is too small afterwards I can just top coat it to bring it out a little bit wider. I didn't cure the underside of my mold so I have a dimple or a nipple whatever you want to call it. I think I think this could work it's going to be gappy but I can always infill the sides if I can get the curvature right, I could get this to work. To get the vinyl to size, I'm just going to trace around my pebble. And then cut that out. This is sticky back vinyl. I'm just hoping that I can get a good bond. But with infilling around that lens I should be protected it should bond quite well no that didn't quite work I'm gonna try it a different way I'm gonna stick the vinyl to that and then tidy it up I'm gonna get a better finish that way he says better finish but I'm not gonna do it again look at the state of that I'm hoping it's not going to be visible. So all I need to do now, I think, is get a bond, some kind of bond to that vinyl now. And then I can worry about the infill bit afterwards. To make my life a little bit easier. Try and bring that level. 
and that vinyl definitely needs a good clean up. Sticky prints everywhere. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. Thank you very, very much. I've got a little bit of a, um, I'm, I've lost my words. Imperfection there, but I'm not worried. Should add to the character. Right, I'm thinking a small blob of UV resin there, pop the lens on, cure it, and then infill round the sides. Is this going to work? There is only one way to find out. I don't want any bubbles. I can see a bubble. Can I push that out? And then just lining that up with my eye as best as I can with the back stone. And now I'm going to cure it. That has bonded nicely to the vinyl. Now using my UV bottle, I can just go in around the sides and begin to level out the UV resin. And I'm going to look through the front to check for bubbles as I'm going and cure as I go as well, otherwise it's going to begin to run everywhere. Okay, looks messy. Whoa! <laughs> I have purposely gone higher than what I needed to, so I can bring that down flush with the pebble and just try and get them to to look united but also separate at the same time so now for the sanding but i'm just look at that reflection already i'm going to just do it by hand i've had some bubbles but to be honest with you it just adds a little bit of character so i'm going to sand all around the edges just as i did with my previous video with the bismuth exactly the same way just with this instead Right, so I'll just taken my mask off quick. I'm I'm definitely doing this because I need to get to that stone. And just doing it with sandpaper is not really cutting it. So I'm going to carry on. Just working my way round. And then I can use the sanding paper, sanding paper afterwards. So all I'm doing now is just really defining... The stone. Okay, so I'm now just going to clean this up with some alcohol just to get any of that resin dust off. And you can really see how nice that's come up. Now you may not like me for this. You can say so in the comments. I don't mind. <laughs> As always, give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. If you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. Now, you probably know where this is going to go, don't you? I was going to bring this up to a crystal clear shine. But do you know what? I really, really like this dull matte finish. It looks natural to me. It also hides the couple of little air bubbles that I've got in there. But look at that. That is incredible. I could go down another grade on the sandpaper. I, I do still have some imperfections, but to me, it I, I like that. I like it the way it is finished. I mean, I need to get a slightly bigger net for this. 
look at that colour. And I really think that the matte helps that colour. Look at it. I just need to get a bigger net because I don't really want to drill through this. I do want to wear this myself. But there you go. That is absolutely insane. Look at that colour. It looks like some kind of really crazy natural stone. And I love that stone on the back as well. I absolutely adore this. Look at that. <laughs> as always, give the video a thumbs up. I've already said that. I've already said that, haven't I? But hit that sub button for me, guys. Come on. I want to hit, hopefully, 100k this year with your help. Right, I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.